monster truck fans welcome to a very special opening for tmb tv it's 2010 and one of the greatest stories of the year is happening right here right now this is tmb trackside host ross bonar we've been bringing you tmb tv for three years now and this show is one of the ones we are most excited about in the history of the monsterblog.com you know just a few years back 2006 scott douglas stood right here opening up the intro for the history of the Pontiac Silverdome DVD, talking about all the great monster truck history that happened here over the years, and it coming to an end as Monster Jam moved to Ford Field, downtown Detroit. Well, fans, history is happening right here once again this weekend. The FMG events partnering up with the new owners of the Silverdome to bring monster trucks back. This is the reopening of the Pontiac Silverdome, one of the most historical places in monster trucks. And guess who's coming back to open it back up? That's right, fans. Bigfoot and legendary driver Eric Tack, championship driver from the 90s, returning to the seat this weekend to help Bigfoot be on top tonight. It's domination in the dome. This is TMB Trackside. There are so many great stories. We've got 16 trucks. Larry Quick attacked attempting a double backflip, a wild setup inside. We're going to be bringing you all the pre-show action right here in this episode, interviews with all the great personalities that are going to be running tonight, and then coming up a little later, the TMB TV episode. We've got four camera angles. we got everything. The monsterblog.com is bringing it to you. Domination in the Dome. Let's take a look around. We know monsters. Well, fans, one of the biggest names here back at the Silver Dome, Domination in the Dome, and we got here John Zimmer. You got yourself a new ride for this show, uh, AMSO Shock Therapy, the World Finals a couple weeks ago. But talk about this, lots of history, Excalibur at the Pontiac Silver Dome. Oh, without a doubt. You know, uh, originally I thought I'd be in the Ice Monster name, and Monday we kind of sat down and talked about things, and, you know, it was Chris Ryans, my teammate, you know, he's back in the seat after Carl Van Horn, so that's a lot of pressure, and this name's a lot of pressure here in Pontiac. So we kind of said, let's uh, let's go with Excalibur on my truck, and, you know, I'm excited as could be. You know, Charlie drove this, Mike Nickel, Dave Marquardt, those guys really pushed the level of this sport, so I'm proud to be here with this name, and I'm proud to, you know, give it 110%. Well now, John, you got to be considered one of the favorites going into tonight's show. You run the Monster Jam season all through the winter, so you're used to the big stadium stuff, but a lot of these guys, the independent guys, don't run Monster Jam. This is one of their few chances. So you know they're going to be really going for it here tonight, trying to put their name on top, but you do have a little bit of experience with these big obstacles out here. Yeah, you know, that's right. I, I like any style of track, indoor, tiny, to outdoor, or like this huge, And but you're 100% correct. When you first walk into one of these places and just see how big it is and the obstacles it's a lot different i think it's going to affect a lot of guys you know there is a few of us that do a lot of the domes that are here and i'm definitely excited for that you know it gives me that little bit of edge i've got a nasty chris holbrook motor this thing's not even a day old and it's probably the meanest one i've ever had all right now last question we talked about this great setup but here's the big one monster trucks back at the silver dome after almost five years how special would it be here with all of this history for our sport to pick up a big win tonight? Oh my God, it'd be amazing for me because I'm not a fan at heart, you know, and I still got the old VHS tapes at home from watching Excalibur doing track, truck and tractor style pulling stuff. And uh, for me, if I could walk out of here with a win or maybe two wins, it would be a big mark in my career. Well, fans, that's John Zimmer. He's in Excalibur here tonight at the Silverdome World Finals. He had a great run out there a couple weeks ago, and he's going to be one of the ones to beat here tonight.
fans, we've got one of the drivers who's actually been here before in the night's lineup, man who really knows the history. Bobby, you've been in the sport for a long, long time now, and you're one of the only drivers in the lineup who's actually had the chance back in the older days to compete here. What does it mean to get the chance to come back here with your new piece, you know, rocking and rolling all year on Monster Nationals, and now you're ready to go? Pontiac Silverdome. I tell you, man, it's awesome. You know, it's 15 years since I've been here. Kind of got a cold here, but we're ready to rock. You know, this place is still great. Still a great place to come see monster trucks or anything else. I can't wait to get out here. These things are huge. Buses, doubles, all kinds of stuff. We're ready to go. Now, one more thing, too. All year you've been sporting the big sponsor, Lucas Oil. I bet they're pretty excited about being here at the Silverdome with you here this weekend. Yeah, they are. You know, we're doing Lucas Oil most of the summer. We're going back to the beast for some of the jamborees and stuff. We're stoked about it. Lucas loves us. We love them. Everything's working out great, man. We can't wait to get it done. Well, it's great to have you guys here tonight, especially one of the, so much history with tonight's event. What would it mean if you could put the stabilizer in victory lane for either racing or freestyle tonight? Oh, man, it'd be awesome here because the first time I was here, I actually beat Gravedigger here. So it was awesome. You know, that'd be just the icing on the cake to do that. But all these stuff, these trucks are tough. You know, we're going to do the best we can, but hopefully we come out on top. Well, that's Bobby Holden, the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. He's one of the ones who's been here before, and he knows how to get it done at the Silverdome. fans well we got here the two about to be three-time monster nationals freestyle champion here with us and what better to have here at the pontiac silverdome you know unlike a lot of the drivers here in the lineup you've had a chance to race here before i have but you know we decided after looking at some scrapbooks it was in 2002 was my last time here so it's been a few years i am so excited to be back it's great to be able to be here you know, being from Michigan and everything and the whole Silverdome thing, it was really emotional. It's going to be a great time, and I'm hoping to show these boys and girls that we can do this and have a good time. Now, it's going to be <laughs> very excited here, girl, driver, all the girls in the crowd, ready to go. Now, what would it mean, Pontiac Silverdome, all this history? I mean, you've been cleaning up out there on Monster National, so there's no reason to not expect you to be a contender for the freestyle win tonight. I got 16 other trucks here that I got to compete against, though. You know, it's going to be very tough. These guys are running hard. They've been tough all year. Um, you know, big obstacles. I'm going to see what we can do. I, I hope I can. I hope the fans are behind me. And I'm just looking forward to having a good time and hoping my truck stays together. I got some great sponsors in the house tonight, too, that will help us out. And I just want to give it my all and have a good time. Well, fans, that's the soon-to-be-named 2010 Monster Nationals Freestyle Champion, and she is going to be looking for a big win in freestyle here at the Silverdome tonight. Well, fans, you've been enjoying a look around the Silverdome, all the history here, and we've got a man here with us right now who is helping make this event extremely cool for all the old school fans by bringing some history into it. Tim Bush, you know, all these years with Excalibur, how exciting is it here to be here at the Silverdome? And you got the old retro style paint scheme and John Zimmer behind the wheel for tonight's show. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know, John's probably one of the best drivers out there. Silverdome, we got a lot of history here with Excalibur. We got actually Mike Nickel, one of the original owner drivers. He's here tonight, so it's going to be pretty cool. I think we're going to have a good show. Now, talk too. I mean, you know, you're coming up with the retro schemes for Excalibur. You double up, and another great retro scheme. All the old school fans are excited to see it right over here in the corner. Michigan Ice Monster back for the other truck. Yeah, it was something that were, uh, originally we weren't going to plan on a debut until probably August of this year got bumped up a little bit because of this event and actually we've got another one in the works right now that one actually may debut uh, probably in August if everything goes good so we'll wait a little bit longer to let everybody know what that one is but it was it was cool to do the ice monster. it originated one of the biggest shows it did was here early on in the 80s and to come back with it, it it's a neat deal all right Tim now I mean you got all four of your trucks here you got all four of your drivers all great drivers how great would it be if one of your guys could bring home the wins tonight uh, it's, it'd be neat. The first show back would be really cool to have one of our trucks run, you know, to, to win it. You know, we'll have to see what happens. There's a lot of good trucks here, a lot of good iron, a lot of good drivers, so uh, anything could happen. Well, fans, there it is from the man himself. Tim Bush runs Sudden Impact Racing. He's got all the trucks here. Him and Brandon Lagarde have some great-looking machinery ready to go for the win here tonight at the Silverdome. Blah. 
Seriously. Okay, now go. Well, fans, one of the big names here in tonight's lineup, Rick Rabb with the American Guardian. Now, Rick, you've got a little bit of an advantage over some of the other guys in the lineup. Huge field tonight, but you've been here at the Silverdome before, and in fact, you've just about pulled off a win here before. Yeah, it's uh, been a few years. It's probably been six, seven years ago. Uh, I was driving the American Guardian. I was also filling in for Pat Zoom and Thrasher. So I ended up, I think, in like fourth place freestyle in Pat's truck and uh, second in my truck. So I feel pretty confident here. We're going to do a good job. The truck's running good. We've got a brand new motor in it. I think we're going to have a good day tonight. Now, you guys were in the last few years. You got a chance to run here at the Silverdome with Monster Jam. Whole new chapter being opened up for this building with a new show coming in here. How cool is it to get to be here in the first show back with Monster Trucks here in Pontiac? Oh, it feels good. I mean, it was disappointing when this building was uh, supposed to be torn down and closed. Yeah, that was a big uh, weak spot. It's one of my favorite domes to run in. Got a lot of room on the floor. It feels great to come back and be one of the first trucks back in here. Now, Rick, last question. You're known for being one of the wildest freestylers in the industry, and we know you're going to be a favorite tonight here in freestyle. You look out at that big course, all those big obstacles. It's one of the biggest courses ever here at the Silverdome with these buses. What's it going to take to win here tonight? A lot of speed and a lot of air, and I plan to do them both. Short and sweet, Rick Rabb ready to go, and he's going to be going for it in both racing and freestyle here later tonight. Colby is enjoying his job very much right now. Monsterblog.com. We know monster trucks. I'll tell you what, to be in here, you know, at the Pontiac Silverdome, it's amazing. It's uh, pretty special to be here. Oh, it's awesome. I'm glad they opened it up. I'm glad I got the opportunity to come here. I'm kind of pumped. It's pretty cool to be here. I'm so excited just to be here. Huge place. I love this place. Always have. So I'm excited to, to uh, drive here tonight. Awesome. It's going to be great. I mean, it really is. Uh, to pull off a win here tonight would be awesome. To get a win here at the Silver Dome would be pretty awesome. Win here tonight would be huge. Considering I think the last time a monster truck show was here, uh, that green truck, I think there was a green truck with pink headlights. He couldn't do it. It's so amazing I can't even think about it. Hopefully I'll win. If I could get a win tonight, it's just, you know, I would be speechless. Hey, this is Rick Rabb, American Guardian. How about that monsterblog.com? Because they know monster trucks. That's TMB Trackside for you. We've talked to all the major players, showed you around the dome, 
the big event is coming up. Now, we put this one out a week earlier. You still got a week to wait for the big show. Sorry about that, but it's gonna be worth it because we've got four angles, all of our best people here. Super video man, Colby Marshall's putting this one together, doing our lead videography. We got Shane, we got Caden, we got Chris Parrish. All of the Monster Blogs best are right here tonight to put this episode for you. And it's coming up just a week from now. Pontiac Silver Dome, domination in the dome, monster trucks are back, Bigfoot's back, we're ready to go. Stay tuned to themonsterblog.com for TMV TV from the Silver Dome. Hey, Monster Truck fans, welcome to what may be one of the most exciting episodes of TMB TV that we have ever had a chance to bring you here on themonsterblog.com. You know, a few years back, a chapter was closed in Monster Truck history, many thought forever. One of the biggest moments in Monster Trucks, going way back to the early days, was when Bigfoot crushed cars here at the Pontiac Silverdome and got all the craze started. Well, a few years back, the Pontiac Silverdome shuts down. Many thought it would be for good, but as it turns out, it wasn't. We are so excited excited to be bringing you the reopening event of the Pontiac Silverdome here in 2010 and what better for this building than monster trucks. It's domination in the dome here tonight. We've got 16 trucks and one of the most exciting parts about it, it's the return of Bigfoot, the original monster truck, right here to one of the most historical venues in monster trucks, the Pontiac Silverdome. Racing, freestyle, a huge dome show. One of the things we don't get a chance to bring you on the monsterblog.com all that often but that's exactly what we've got for you here tonight, and it's all coming up right now. All right, fans, it's the big story. The return of Bigfoot to the Silverdome, and they've got themselves a veteran driver ready to go, coming back from retirement for a big show. Eric, you are one of the few Bigfoot drivers who's actually driven back here in the Silverdome before, and you were at the Bigfoot's last show at the Silverdome, your first one back. What's it like, and how much responsibility is it to have the Bigfoot name here at tonight's event? Well, anytime carrying a Bigfoot truck name, I mean, it's there's a lot of responsibility. They expect a lot out of you, so... It's kind of cool that uh, you know Bob and Jim and Bob all thought it was okay for me to come back and drive here. And actually, the, ironically, in '98 when I was here, I actually drove number 11. So it's kind of fun to come back, and it's great to be back actually. Now, what have you been up to in the years since you've uh, been away from Monster Trucks? Uh, filling in a few times here and there, but what's going on with Eric Tack here? I uh, just uh, own an excavating business. I bought it off my dad back when I when I left back in 2004, and. Uh, like you say, so we're just playing in the dirt, just different trucks. <laughs> All right, well, now the big question. You know, it's been a few years since you've been in a truck, so is there going to be any rust you're going to be worried about shaking off? Because you don't get a qualifying session even. You're going right into round one racing, and you don't know who you're going up against just yet. Oh, I, you know, yeah, you're, there's always rust, but there's rust anytime you drive. I mean, you can take one week off, and you still don't feel, you know, you don't get back in 100%, but hopefully I can pick it up quick, and Jim's here. He helped set the truck up good, and we're ready to go. Last question, Eric. What would it mean to put Bigfoot in victory lane tonight? Oh, the same as usual. I mean, it's great to win. You know, it's no, it's no fun being second, but you know, all you can do is your best and you know, hope you come out on top. Well, that's Eric Tack, ladies and gentlemen. He is the man charged with putting Bigfoot back in victory lane at the Silverdome after all these years. Well, fans, you just heard from Eric Tack and Bigfoot, but we've got another one of the originals here with us that's back here at the Pontiac Silverdome. You know, Alan, you got your start right here, didn't you? Most certainly did. 27 years ago, it's hard to believe. 
that I've been in this business this many years. And it's awesome to be able to come back to this facility, you know, after they said that it was going to be imploded, torn down, all that good stuff. And to have another event come back in here is just, it's, I just can't put into words how much, I'm, you know, I'm excited about being here. Well, you can really tell that you care about the history of this because we even go back to the Speed episode from the last Silverdome show, and they interviewed you and you talked about what the Silverdome's meant to you for all these years. But now to be reopened, and you are the only driver here in this lineup that was at the last Monster Jam and the first domination in the Dome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I was kind of disappointed, you know, that the, at, the, at the finale, so to say, you know, that it was going to be torn down. You know, this, this building is actually where Monster Trucks got to start when Bigfoot did the very first car crush anywhere in front of public. So this building holds a lot of tradition, you know, a lot of history over the years. And to be able to come back, you know, do my first event here, do the final event, and then come back and do the reopening of it, it's just, it's just totally awesome. Now, uh, we asked this to a lot of the other drivers, but I think for you it probably has special meaning. What would it mean if you could put Predator in victory lane here tonight? That would probably be, you know, one of my highlights I could put on, you know, in my resume. This would definitely be one of the highlights. Um, you know, I grew up not very far from here. This is kind of my hometown deal. You know, it's actually coming back home because I've actually moved away now. But this is still coming home, and it still feels like home coming into the Silverdome. And I just, you know, it would be over the top. Well, now, you guys even came up with a special surprise for this show, and it's sitting right here behind us. One of the coolest things, especially for an old-school fan of the sport, your original Predator truck right here, fully restored. How long has this process been, putting this thing back together? It's actually taken us three years of, you know, time, little by little, to put it back together because we're so busy running the four race trucks that we have. We don't get a whole lot of time to do any extracurricular stuff. So to, to put the project together, it's taken us three years and this this whole last week to get it finished up has been nothing but nightmares you know just little gremlins popping up here and there to you know to get it to finish you know but it's well worth it it's here and we're actually going to be able to use it so it's, it's awesome and tonight here on tmb tv from the silver dome an old school car crash with predator tell us about that that i'm really looking forward to you know a lot of these fans uh that are nowadays watching monster jam watching all the the, the footage that monster trucks have really don't have a concept of where this sport actually came from you know all they see is these high technology trucks nowadays they don't remember where the trucks began so that was one of the things i wanted to do when i brought this truck back is to kind of bring it back as an educational tool and and show these fans where we've progressed from to where we're at now so to do this old school car crush has got it you know it's going to create a bunch of chills in my bones i can tell you that because it's it's, it's history being made again History being made again. That's actually what tonight is all about, fans. And we've talked with Eric Tack, the return of Bigfoot. You just heard from Alan. We're going to get out there and check out this track, and then we are going racing and freestyling at the Silverdome. Well, as you can see, fans, excitement is building here on the floor of the Silverdome. We're just minutes away from getting everything started tonight with racing and freestyle. Well, we're going to take a moment to tell you about the course that these guys are going to be racing on out here. This is easily one of the wildest courses in the history of the Silverdome, and that's talking about a lot of history. Because over the years, Monster Jam usually primarily used some big bread van stacks, some big delivery van stacks. Well, out here, we got all kinds of huge stuff. And in the past, it's always St. Louis style racing. Tonight, Chicago style. Let's take a look down here around us as the trucks are moving at what we got. Now, as you can see, the racing lanes have got freestyle stacks on both sides of them. You've got a huge bus stack. And as you can see, the dirt doesn't go all the way up to the top. So it's going to be a challenge watching these drivers work their way up and over all this metal. On the far side, you've got the van stack. Drivers come up over, and they're going to have a chance to ride out some great slap wheelies right here. But the real trouble area is right in between these stacks. There you see the racing lanes for Chicago style. Bus stack right up against one side, van stack right up against the other. Lots of potential for trouble. Now we're going to go ahead and move on around this way. As you can see down here, lots of open spots on the floor. This is a good area for donuts, all that kind of thing during freestyle. And it's also where you'll be seeing the drivers go corners through racing. Now we come over here to the other side. This is your other stack for racing. Lots more good freestyle stuff. Same setup. We've got 
a really tight racing lane in between two big stacks. Van stacks just the same as the other side, and again on the racing, and even more so, you've got the bus all along the side, so if you hit that stack at all crooked, you're going to be piling it into a bus in big trouble. Now, there's actually some old school with this freestyle stack we've got here with the double buses, reminiscent of tourists climbing over a couple buses. Well, now in 2010, you're going to see these guys launching up over it, and once these vans get smashed down right here, that's going to be a big nasty step up to the top of those buses. This course is all about driver skill tonight. You know, with the Monster Jam Stadium shows, they've got the real big wide racing lanes. Here it's exactly the opposite. It's going to be all about navigating the truck right through those tunnels, if you will. And whichever driver does it best, that's going to be your big racing winner tonight. And as you can see, where we're standing on right now, backflip just down here and lots of room for some major air off this stack in freestyle. So whichever driver can put it all together, keep the truck on all four wheels during freestyle, that's the guy you're looking at to take it all home tonight. Monster Truck Racing from Coopersville, Michigan.
Well, fans, right there in round one of racing, Alan, what happened? We knew it was tight quarters there in the racing lanes to start off with, and it looks like it bit you on that one. Most definitely, and I didn't anticipate all that sand down there in the corner, and it was real slick, and I was kind of flat tracking around the corner, trying to touch the rear steering and bring it back, but it was too late, and I touched the side of that van, or the side of the school bus over there, and then, you know, hooked that left front tire, and over I went, so. Win uh, some, you lose some. Tough break there in racing for you, Alan, but you still got freestyle coming up. I see the guys thrashing on the truck here. Are you going to be able to make it back? I do believe so. I think we'll come up with something. Now, uh, also, you're next out last in the order if things remain the same. So you got a pretty good shot to go ahead and make it a good night, maybe put a win on the board. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I can't never tell what I'm going to do until I get out there, you know, see how it feels and, and go from there. Well, that's Alan Pizzo with the Predator. He's going to get back to work trying to get Predator back in action for freestyle. Wild racing here on a tough race course at the Silverdome.
incredible racing 16 truck bracket flying the monster vlog flag. Sean Duhon, Sudden Impact taking the win. Man, we talked about it beforehand, and you were saying how much it would mean to pull off a win here, and you just did it. Tell us how you're feeling. Oh, man, I tell you what, you know, I thought I'd be speechless, but, uh, you know, I've got a million words. You know, I could keep y'all here for days. Uh, you know, I think it was the flag that, you know, helped me do it. You know, I really think that's what, you know, what it was, pushing me around the track. You know, when you get competition like this, I was a nervous wreck. I went through a half a pack of gum today, chewing, just my jaws are hurting me. But we took it tonight, you know, got Bigfoot. I was kind of nervous about him. I've been watching Eric for a long time. Glad to beat him. Too bad I had to take down the, you know, the hometown hero, Jocelyn. Beat her in the finals, but it was my night tonight. This is awesome. Uh, real quick, man, this has got to be one of the biggest wins of your career. Where does this stack up? Oh, you know, this stacks up the very top. You know, underneath, you know, all of the, the two championships that we took home for, you know, Sudden Impact Racing, this is right there with it. You get in a big dome like this, the Silver Dome, man, this is crazy. We had, you know, screaming fans everywhere. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. You know, this is way up there at the top. Well, fans, a big congratulations to Sudden Impact Racing and Sean Duhon. Huge win here. Hey, we've got a double backflip attempt coming up, and we're going to, we talked to Larry Quick earlier today about what he's got to do to make it happen. That's coming up right now. All right, fans, this is one of the biggest moments of tonight's event, and you're going to be seeing it here in just a few minutes. Domination in the Dome, one of the big draws tonight. Double backflip attempt by Larry Quick. You know what? Just a couple episodes, we were in Montreal. You nailed the single backflip under similar pressure, but this is the return of monster trucks to the Pontiac Silverdome. Talk about how cool it is to be trying to do something for the first time ever with monster trucks coming back to this historic venue. Well, I tell you what, to start, um, just to be here, um, when I first got in the business, I wanted to be part of the Silverdome. So, you know, this is exciting. You know, not only they reopen it, do some monster truck stuff, uh, but I get to attempt the double backflip. So, I mean, it's super awesome, and, you know, and I'm super stoked. All right, now, when we were in Montreal, we talked a little bit about the technique of the single backflip. This would be the first time that at an event you've ever tried to, or ever uh, successfully landed the double backflip here at the Silverdome, if you can nail this tonight. We've got this huge ramp standing here right next to us. What's it gonna take from a technique standpoint to make this happen? Uh, we'll actually be, um, we'll have a longer run than the single backflip. We will, uh, the, the ramp's a little more gradual. There's a little different pitch there. Um, and we'll be in third gear opposed to second. So um, we'll be under more torque, more power, uh, and we'll have to carry about 15 feet higher than what the single backflip takes. All right, well, in the episode here, we're getting ready to do this right now. So tell us, any last thoughts, any apprehension, double backflip here on the floor of the Silverdome? Boy, just like any stunt, I think it's a 50-50 shot. Um, but my, like my saying goes, you know, drive hard, crash hard, and see what happens. Well, good luck to you tonight, Larry. Fans, double backflip the tip. If he nails it, it's going to be the first time in monster truck history, and that's right now. <laughs>
rundown of what you're going to do. Actually, we're going to ride around, wave at everybody first. So, a little bit of steering tricks. Then we'll go out and crush some old school cars.
here in a minute. Let's go freestyle.
champion monster truck driver, Eric Tack, from Butler, Pennsylvania. It is Bigfoot! Scores up, scores up, in the books here at the Silverdome. Man, lots of action and lots of carnage, which is exactly what you'd expect when you get 16 trucks together going for such a historic win as the one here tonight. Got to give a great call to Eric Tack for the big win. Usually at this point, we go ahead and do our winner interview. Uh, Eric actually tweaked his back just a little bit on that last run, and uh, so he's going to head back to the hauler. But a big congratulations to Team Bigfoot for being on top here tonight in freestyle. But you also got to give a call to some of the other amazing runs we saw. Rick Rabb with American Guardian was awesome out there. John Zimmer with Excalibur had the kind of run that, you know, you dream of putting together as a driver. You know, everything that you could have asked for in that freestyle and then a wild finish. And you got to give a call to Alan Pizzo as well, who really went for it after rolling it over and racing and put it over again in freestyle. Wild stuff here at the Silverdome, but when it came right down to it, the fans gave it to Bigfoot. Congratulations to Team Bigfoot for picking up the freestyle win here at the Silverdome tonight. Bigfoot's back on top in Pontiac. Monster Truck fans, what an incredible evening here at the Pontiac Silverdome tonight, and you just saw all the action right here on TMB TV. It was such a privilege for the MonsterBlog.com to be here as a new chapter in Monster Truck history opens up at the Silverdome. Monster Jam had so many great years here. Now, Silverdome events, bringing in the Monster Trucks. Big thanks to Brian Sharnow and everyone with FMG Events for their hospitality to us and helping us come in here and bring a great show to you guys. Thanks to all the drivers and everyone for all the great performances. Freestyle was absolutely incredible. Runs you saw from John Zimmer, Rick Rabb, and then the precision freestyle you saw from Eric Tack. No small hits, and it was enough to put him over the top. Bigfoot back on top in freestyle here at the Silverdome. So many years, this was all Gravedigger and Max D. Hey, Bigfoot's back at the Silverdome. And fans, this is probably one of the most special moments here of TMB TV that we've ever had. Big thanks to the folks with Steel Skins Graphics for hooking us up with some new digs. Definitely the folks you want to hit for all of your crew shirt vinyl needs. Steel Skins Graphics, www.steelskins.com. Thanks to all those guys. Hey, a great thanks to all of our camera people, Colby Marshall, Caden Berry, Shane Skinner, Chris Parrish, all bringing all the great angles that you saw here tonight. Fans, we are jacked up. This was an amazing night. And you know what? We're only getting started here. 2010's got so much more good stuff left. We didn't have a lot for you on TMB TV here in the winter, but we're going to be bringing it this summer. Lots more big events coming your way. And the one place you want to go for all of it, themonsterblog.com. We know monster trucks.